Hi uh, YouTubers, uh, this is Alex from Lexus Toy Loft. Hello again. Um, I'm just going to do a quick review of uh, a Star Wars toy, the Ewok Battle Wagon, another one of the um, rare ones, quite hard to find. Um, I bought this a while back on eBay. Um, it was a really good one actually. Um, some of the bits hadn't been put together. Um, some bits I still haven't clipped in because um, I just don't want to break it. And um, So some of the cranks are still sort of unput inside the actual vehicle itself. Um, it's an interesting vehicle, it's not one obviously that was <laughs> seen in the film. Um, it was obviously recreated for the Robin Hood toy line. Um, it's pretty big, um, so I guess you could pitch it against the chicken walkers and things um, if you wanted to. Um, the box has um, got some pretty cool drawings, it's obviously the Star Wars but the Power of the Force series. Um, it's got like a, a sketch, um, the Ewoks look a lot bigger there. Um, just turning the box round, you've got the pictures on the back of how to do it. You've um, shows the prisoner cage, shows um, the battle ram, um, the the skull where the Ewoks can sit, um, how the um, sides come up. Um, pretend enemy soldiers are moving the battle wagon. Um, you can see that. You get the idea. Um, if I lift open the um, box like so. Um, you can see inside and um, see um, that the inserts are actually um, still with it. Um, there's actually the um, original string with this one even, it was really good. Um, I put it in its own um, little plastic bag, I haven't used the string yet, just because I imagine it's pretty weak now. Um, these are the instructions um, with it as well. Pretty cool, again all sketched, um, pretty good condition. Um, this is the um, battle wagon itself. As you can see, you've got like the skull here at the top. Um, Ewoks can fit inside it. Um, like this, and pretend to drive it. Um, you've got the front bit that um, has a little hole here, and the string would go from this hole over to the crank, and the crank will pull this up and down. Um, you've got the battering ram here, which is really quite nice. This end bit's like um, rubber and it connects really good and there's a really smooth um, action for ramming stuff like the chicken walkers. Um, on the top bit, you've got um, the drum and you've got the two cranks. That first crank is for the front uh, bit that goes down. Um, the rear crank um, hooks up to this hook with string and at the back you've got this um, prisoner cage and what happens is the hook goes on the prisoner cage and then when you turn the crank the idea is that it gets lifted up the prisoner cage and um, put that to one side at the moment and um, you've also got the ladder here for you wants to get up um, the wheels turn quite nicely and it all looks like it's made out of rock and wood and skull obviously and um, in the Bottom, you've got the holes there, so you can make it look like stormtroopers are pushing the um, the wagon. Um, these walls actually come out, and you can um, put them together. I'll show you. So those um, sides um, clip together like that, so you can form like a little um, base for the Ewoks to sit, or like a little fort thing for them. Um, I'll put some Ewoks in it to show you what it looks like. Is what the little fort would look like with all the Ewoks behind it and with the battle wagon in the background. Uh, so for your viewing pleasure here's the um, battle wagon with all the collection of Ewoks on it. Um, in there you've got Chief in the skull, you've got the Chief Chirper and you've got Low Grey um, having a look outside leading the, uh, the charge. Um, you've got the Warwick and Luma at the top with their bows and arrows you got Wicket, Papalu there. Um, in the bottom you got got um, Romba and the other Ewok, um, whose name escapes me. And you've also got the um, cage here. I haven't put that together just because it's um, a little bit frail and I don't want to risk him breaking it, but that's um, how the Stormtrooper goes in and how that would be raised. Um, Overall, it obviously wasn't in the film, but I just, I kind of like it. It's all right. It's a little bit different. Um, 
I never had it as a kid, but um, it's just one of those rare ones it's hard to find, so I was really pleased when I, um, I, I got it on eBay. Um, I just wanted to sort of have a look at it and have a little play before I put it in the store. Um, it's not too bad. I'm interested to know what your thoughts are on it. Um, thanks for watching my video. If you want more, please like, comment, please um, follow me and um, subscribe. I'll keep trying to put um, new, more movies on. Thanks.